looked at you through the mirror as you fixed his coat, your eyes downcast. His dark eyes always noticed your hesitation whenever you were close to him. He looked at your trembling hands. You knew how it must feel when your own wife is scared of you, but you couldn't help it. Even if you tried, you couldn't stop your heart from shaking whenever you were near him. You were not always like this, but one small incident changed everything between you both. Even now, whenever you close your eyes, you see that Jungkook standing while laughing like a psycho with a gun in his hands and blood all over the floor and words, a man lying lifelessly in front of him. Even after two weeks, you can still hear those voices which forced you to walk into the basement even when you were not allowed it to go there. That day stayed in your heart like a nightmare, one you couldn't forget. The person who used to smile in front of you, always acting silly, seeing him in that condition had shaken you so badly. You walk in front of him and started to make his style. Your eyes down the entire time, his eyes never left you. His heart aches, but he couldn't do anything about it. He had comforted you that day, and you had said that you trust him, but things were worse now. Yen, it's been two weeks, and you still can't look me in the eyes. Mind telling me why it's like this? He said in his heavy whispered voice, You girl, your heart beating so fast and your body shaking in fear. Jungkook wanted to look away, unable to bear seeing you so shaken up under his gaze. You slowly shook your head. I couldn't be able to hold eye contact with anyone, you know that. Your voice come out as a whisper. You lean a little closer to him and fix his collar. That someone is your husband, my love. He said this, making your heart started to beat faster. He is your husband. You can't live without him. He is the person who accepted you even after knowing that you were not mentally stable. The person who gave you the love of a family after you lost yours in an accident. He is the one person who is ready to become anything for you. A good friend, a father, a mother, a sister, and a loving husband. He softly held your chin and made you look up at him in his eyes. Let's talk it out if there's something left. To be cleared, I can't see you like this. He said and softly wiped your tears. You sign in relief. You are scared of him, but you still want him near you to make you feel safe. How strange. With that, he softly pressed his lips on yours, kissing you softly and with love. You close your eyes as tear falls down from your eyes. He gently wiped them away with his thumb while kissing you. He broke the kiss and cupped your cheeks. I can't see tears in your eyes. You will get late for your work. You said in a low voice and walked towards the drawer. Taking a handkerchief from there, you walked to him and extended it towards him. He signed. I'm waiting for you until you get ready to listen to me fully. Your heart ages as the tear falls down from the eyes, seeing Jungkook in front of you. He looks calm. His hands softly grab your wrist, try to keep you close while you just wanted to run away from him. You try to take your hand back, but he is scared that you might do something wrong after seeing him like that. You couldn't help. You looked away as again and again you are seeing that monster in him. Your soaps get louder. Your words were stuck in your throat as you couldn't be able to speak anything. Jungkook looked at you with his soft eyes as he didn't want to scare you more. My love, please, look at me. Let me explain. His dominating voice with his soft words made your eyes fill with tears, which are threatened to leave any second. Jungkook softly wiped your tears and will do again if they fall. He just wants to make you sure that he is the same Jungkook you know. Jungkook, I'm scared of you. Please.
It's the most hurtful word he even heard from you. But understanding your situation, he leave your hand. The sudden loss of warmth make you even crazier. You look at him. Just make sure what you really want. He said and pulled you in his warm hug with love and care. You flinched slightly when his warm arms again pulled you in between. Your heart suddenly feels relaxed and you don't want to get away from his arms. Your fear always washed away when he is near you. You are scared of him but also want him to make you feel relaxed. Take care of yourself and rest well. Call me without hesitation if you need anything. You nodded. Tonko waited there hugging you to get at least a hug from you. But you were standing there like a statue. He signed and broke the hug. Smiling slightly, he looked at you, but you were just looking at him with your straight face. He was about to leave, but you stopped him grabbing his shirt sleeve. He turned and looked at you while you returned him the smile back, making his heart flutter. In these two weeks, it's maybe the first time you smiled at him. Taking a step closer, you kissed his forehead. Take care and don't overwork yourself. Turkuk opened the door to the backyard and ran towards the garden. As you usually spend your time there whenever you come, he stopped when he saw you sitting near the pool with your legs in the water. Staring at nothing in the particular, he signed and walked towards you with his slow step. This was the same fearless Jungkook who wasn't even scared of death, but today his eyes teared up in fear when he couldn't find you. He looked at Sam who was standing a little distance from you. He noticed Jungkook and bowed at him. Jungkook nodded and signaled him to leave you both alone. He bowed again and without making any noise walked out. Jungkook took off his shoes and walked towards you, sitting closer to you. He put his feet in the cold water. He didn't say anything and you didn't find it necessary to look to see who was there because his smell was enough for you to know his presence. And somehow you need this. You both stay there in silence, looking at the water, but suddenly he spoke. You said that you trust me. And your eyes got teary when he said that. Do you really trust him? His question make you question yourself. Your eyes are again filled with tears, which you never allowed it to fall. I know that was something so depressing to see for you, but believe me. That was important to do for your safety. I don't want anything related to me to harm you. I promise your dad that I will always protect you and I will do it. I don't care if I have to kill thousands of people like him. His voice was softer than any other day, just trying to make you understand that what you saw was just a part of your safety. Think of it as a bad dream and forgot it. But are you really scared because you saw him killing someone? Because if that were true, you wouldn't feel safe around him. You wouldn't crave his presence. Your mind won't relax whenever you saw him. And you wouldn't feel relieved knowing he is safe. You are not scared of him. You are scared of losing him. You don't want to lose him like you lost your father. After him, he is the only person who loved and cared for you. You don't understand. It's not about what I saw. It's about everything changing. What if it happens again? What if I lose you because of it? I have already lost so much that my mind feels numb now. Whenever I see you hurt or add that worse like this, I remember my dad and where it took him for nothing. It hurts. He looked down while you wipe your tears with the back of your hand. I have grown up seeing everything. You know, when I first come at your place, I feel a different kind of form. Even my dad was a mafia, but we don't have that kind of form in our house. The house used to smell like that. I was happy with you, even now, but I'm scared. What if I lose this warmth of yours too? 
what if you stop as you don't want to continue the sentence further he signed and kisses your hair softly with love and you can see the care for you in his eyes you will never lose this warmth of mine and i promise you just be happy don't be sad because i can't see you like this you shook your head don't tell me to stop being sad or to overcome my struggles i am only being like this because i can't help it continuously losing everything broke me inside that now even i thought of getting away from someone i love scared me i can't do anything right i used to think that i was so competent and bright but now i feel as if i have turned into a complete idiot i don't know how i end up in this mess i feel like the biggest idiot and it's driving me crazy i'm scared not to you but to lose you i'm scared to be left alone in this world i want you to protect yourself just like how you used to protect me you said and tear all to your eyes Jungle sign and softly grab your hand. When I vow that I will be there next to you forever to protect you, I mean that. Never thought that anyone could ever be able to separate us. I'm dangerous to everyone but you. You are my heart. You are my heartbeat. You are my life, and I will never harm you. I am really sorry that because of me you have to go through all this. I love you my love and don't be scared of me and if there's still some fear left then take it out because if you bury it inside it will kill you just as words were enough to take you to your end and your sobs get louder as you cry taking out all the fear sadness depression everything that made a house inside you chunk of smile and hug you giving you time to get relaxed Sanko opened the door with his leg and walked inside with you in his arms. He walked towards the bed and softly laid you on the soft sheet. You look at him. Your eyes were still full of tears, while the heart is light. You finally take out everything from your heart now, and you are glad that he listened to you. You are not going home. You ask in a low yet soft voice. which get dry a little by continuously crying you look at jungkook who didn't answer your question and was busy fixing the blanket what he said that one day he will kill your fear and he did today you realize that you were not scared of seeing him killing someone because you saw your dad in that place too you witnessed more dead than any girl around your age could handle and now it doesn't hurt anymore Maybe mafias are born to be like this, living in cruelty and death in hell. No one is there to cry for them because they will never be close to someone who can remember them. Well, that's how everyone around you lives. Outside the dark world, you don't know what it looks like. You have never been there, or simply you are not allowed it. Even after all this you couldn't able to bring yourself to hate your dad then how can you hate this man sitting in front of you who is trying to keep your innocence untouched by the cruelty of this world he is trying to keep you safe as much as he can it was not him but the fear inside you which was scaring you fear of losing someone again fear of not being able to be loved ever again and until your fear is inside you it will kill you every second and to take this out you need someone who can listen to you understand you rather than giving you advice the person just patted your back and let you do whatever you are doing just like him it's too late if we go out then it's not safe for us let's stay here tonight and today he killed that fear and give you assurance that no matter what he will be always there for you 
in your heart and in your happy time then you are going back to the mansion i'm not going anywhere i'm here with you now sleep his voice is a little hard but you can feel the care behind it the love of his for you and a little fear which he might get after he didn't find you might think that you will do something wrong you sign and wrap your arm around his waist and shrug your face deeper in his body just don't go anywhere i want you he smiled a little and pulled you a little upward and rested your head on his chest he wrapped his arm around your body and patted your back to comfort you i am here sleep well you hum but little did he know that you will not sleep like this as you have a bad habit of keep on talking whenever you get nervous or sad you look around and junko gets it as you might getting distracted by this hot color of the light wait let me switch off the light he said and was about to switch off the lights but you stop him grabbing his extended hand towards the switch he looked at you and you shook your head slightly he looked in your sleepy eyes and get the idea that you are relaxed now let it be i like this color He nodded and get back to his place again. Decided to light the light switch on. You again rested your head on his chest while his hand continued to caress your hair, to give you some warmth. You yawned while playing with the shirt button, and in a no time, Jungkook heard your snores, making him chuckle. He looked at you. You were sleeping all peacefully, resting your head on his chest. Feel the soft music of his stable heartbeat. Chunko kiss the top of your head. Good night, princess, and sleep well. Your eyes got a little teary when you saw a beautiful decoration in front of your eyes. Walking a few steps closer to the place, you touch the soft curtains with your fingers. Everything was perfectly organized, and only Chunko can do this work by himself. Those fairy lights and the soft smell of candles were just adding more beauty to this already so beautiful place. You look back at Jungkook who was admiring you standing few steps away from you. You do all this, it's so beautiful. He chuckled and walked closer to you, wrapping his arm around your waist. He hugged you from back. You smile, the warmth you always craved for. What do you think? Can I even be as well organized as your husband? Huh? He said and looked at you. You looked at him and shook your head. No one. You are always so unique and better than anyone else out. If that is so, then why do you have these tears in your eyes? I do all this to see your beautiful smile, not to make you cry, my princess. He said and softly kissed your eyes. Not all, but only few people are blessed to have a life partner like Jungkook, and you consider yourself so lucky to get him in your life. With him, it feels like you win the world. It's the tears of happiness. I'm so happy today, you know. I know, but still, I want to see the smile of happiness. I do all this hard work just for your this beautiful smile. and i can do anything to keep it there on your beautiful lips forever your heart swelled with emotion at his words you looked at him your eyes were shimmering with the tears you had tried to hold back the sincerity in his voice the love in his eyes and the warmth of his touch made you feel like the luckiest person in the world You always know exactly what to say to make me feel special. I don't know what I did to without you. He smiled and pulled you into a gentle hug. The whole world around you both seems to fade away, leaving just the two of you in your bubble of happiness. You mean everything to me, Vyan. Seeing you happy is my biggest reward. I promise I will always work hard to make you smile. 
He rested your head on his chest, listening to the steady rhythm of his heartbeat. He smiled and tightened his grip around you, pulling you closer to him more. He doesn't even want air to come in the middle of you both. Jungkook, thank you for everything. You're welcome, my lady. He said and kissed the top of your head. You chuckled slightly and breaking the hug you looked at him while your hands were still wrapped around his waist. A gentleman can never let his lady say thank you. You should say that, no, I am thankful instead. I am sorry that I am not reaching the expectation of your gentleman category because I am a man of my lady and going to accept her each and every thank you because all those words are for the hard work I do to show my love to her. He really had a different definition of love. You looked in his eyes that hold just love. And only for you. You can't even imagine how deep it is. I love you, Jungle, more than words can express. He tilts your chin up, looking deep into your eyes. His gaze were filled with determination and love. And always love me like this. He said and leaned in and kissed you gently, sealing his promise with a touch that spoke volumes. You feel the last of your tear dry up, replaced by the smile. Jungkook loved you so much. He broke the kiss and looked at you. And you were already turned like a tomato. He smiled at your cuteness. Oh, hey, you stopped smoking? You said as you suddenly realized that he doesn't smell bad now. You asked as you suddenly realized that he doesn't smell bad now. Well, you were not scared to say that on his face, as you already mentioned it few times by your expressions. Oh, you get to know now. I stopped smoking right at the moment when you made a disgust face after kissing me. I don't want you to hate kissing me when it's the best thing for me. I can leave years old habit but can't stop kissing you whenever I want and wherever I want, which is every time. And I want you to enjoy it too, as much as I enjoy it. I don't want you to drink water after that. Oh, you saw that? He smiled and nodded. You press your lips together and smile awkwardly. Well, let's go until when we are going to stand outside. You said ignoring him. He chuckled and extended his hand towards you. You put your hand in his and suddenly he lifted you up, making a loud gasp left your mouth. You wrap your arm around his neck to support your weight. You looked at him with your raised bras while he smiled and kissed on top of your nose. Special person deserves the special entry. Thank you. By the way, why this color? Oh, you don't like it. I thought you liked the combination of golden and red. He said doubting his ability to know every single thing about you. You smiled and shook your head cutely making him smile too. These are my favorite colors, that's why I asked. Really? Well, then ready to get more happy, because I even brought your favorite snacks. You are going to love it, my dear. Don't you think that you are spoiling me too much? Amy, I don't think it's wrong to spoil someone I have to handle, and I can at least do this much to my lovely wife who loved me so much. He said and looked at you. You can see sincerity and love for you in his eyes. You smiled and hugged him tightly, making him almost lose his balance and he lost it. You both fall on the bed, but you didn't stop hugging him. So much. I love you more than you can even think. I know. I love you too. More than anything and less than you. You chuckled and he kissed your forehead.